In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for Fe plus CuCl2. This is iron, this is copper 2 chloride. When I look at the equation, I see a metal, iron, all by itself on this side, and then on the products, copper is all by itself. That makes me think this is going to be a single displacement reaction. So for a single displacement reaction, it's also called a single replacement reaction, the metal comes in and it pushes this one out. So the copper then, it's all by itself. The iron, it's bonded with the chlorine, so we get iron chloride. That's a single replacement reaction. We can look at this table here of common chemical reactions. And as we look at it, here's our single replacement reaction. And this is the general kind of format it follows. So for a single replacement reaction, to tell whether it happens, if it actually takes place, we need to look at the activity series here of the metals. So here's our activity series. And as we go down, here's iron right here. And here's copper. So as we look at the activity series, the higher up an element is, the more reactive. So since iron is more reactive than copper, iron can come in, push the copper out, and then bond to the chlorine. That gives us the iron chloride. The copper, though, it's weaker. So it's less active, less reactive. It ends up by itself. Single displacement reaction. This is Dr. B with a type of reaction for Fe plus CuCl2. Thanks for watching.